Welcome to a video on lab safety. Okay, first off, first thing that you must know in lab safety is if you don't follow the safety rules, you're going to end up looking like my friend over here. Yes, you will become a tiny skeleton, and he doesn't look too happy. So you have to follow the lab safety rules. I'll deal with this in a minute. First things first. Okay, you ready? I don't know if I can do this. Let me give it a try. No toes in the lab. You have to wear closed shoes. If you don't have closed shoes, you will not be allowed to participate in the lab. So no sandals or any open-toed shoes. Hair must be tied back or cut really, really short. Now, you don't have to cut your hair really, really short, but you have to have it tied back. So no dangly hair in your face. Next. No low-cut tops. Notice I'm not showing any cleavage. No pants down to your knees. No skirts riding too high. Dress appropriately for lab. All right? Cell phones off and put away. If I see a cell phone out during lab, you're just not going to want to go there. So put your cell phones away. Book bags, books, purses, Food items are out of sight. Don't leave them on the floor because my friend here can trip over them or I'll trip over them. Put them over to the side of the classroom, put them under your desks, but please keep them out of the aisleways and off the desk areas. No food, no drinks, no chicken McNuggets, no curry chicken, no strawberry shortcakes, no iced coffee unless you bring one from me. Light one sugar, blueberry please, extra ice. However, they still have to be off the lab benches. So when you're working on your labs, you don't have any food, books, bags, any of that on the labs. All right, we know that you have to wear these during most labs, okay? So we have to put these on. Oh, don't like my goggles. Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. All right, anyway, can I take these off now? Yes. So we have our goggles, we are dressed appropriately, we have our toes hidden, we have no cell phones, we have no food, we have no drink, our hair is tied back or cut short. How are we doing? Okay, so let's say that you spill a chemical. What do you do? You calmly raise your hand or come over to me and say, I've spilled a chemical, could you help me? And I will come over and I will deal with it. What I particularly want to deal with is broken glass because this is what happens more frequently. So you've broken a beaker or a test tube. Thanks. All right. The first thing you do is you have to go and get the teacher, and that would be me. I will come over with my trusty dust pan and little dust broom. And then what happens is I will give it to you and you will sweep up the large pieces and they never go into the trash bucket. They always go into the glass bucket. We don't want to put any broken glass in the regular trash because maintenance could cut themselves. So we're going to go right into the glass bucket. We are then going to take a piece of damp paper towel, and even if this is on the floor, you still have to do this. You're going to wipe the area with the damp paper towel to pick up any of the loose pieces of glass. And that piece of paper towel also goes into the glass bucket. My friend here is reminding me that when you are done with your lab, you're going to spray the counter with the pink cleanser to remove any chemicals or any guts or brain pieces that you have on the counter. Paper towel will go into the trash. And last but not least, again, thank you for reminding me, no parts or disgusting things in the sink. Paper towels, used filter paper, things like this go into the trash. If you leave the sinks a mess, and I'm looking around at the sinks in this classroom, if you leave the sinks a mess, you will pay dearly. All right? So have I covered everything? I think that's pretty much it.
See you in lab.